everyone welcome back to my channel in today's video I am going to be reviewing doing a little bit of a review a little bit of a comparison I'm going to be comparing alien goddess and alien goddess intense I don't know if I'm late to the game I mean I looked up some videos and they're like two months old I don't remember the day exactly that this perfume came out but I'm gonna do a review because I just got it I wrote down a bunch of notes and I'm gonna give you my thoughts do you guys like my Starbucks cup? It is so cute. I got it, I think, last year in Christmas or two years ago, I think. It's gold. As soon as I saw it, I was like, I need this. And I put this little sticker, but I think I'm going to take it off. It also has a little pumpkin in the back. You know me sticking, sticking Halloween stickers on anything. Disclaimer. All of these thoughts, opinions are solely mine and experiences on me, girl, my body, my clothes. So don't take it too personal. And we're just going to have a little fun time so that you guys can see different descriptions, different reviews from different people. And, and then you can get a feel of like maybe if you're wondering if you should get it or, you know, all that stuff. First off is the original Alien by Mugler. Um... Is it Mugler? Mugler? I've heard like a lot of different ways, but you guys know what I'm talking about. So this is the original Alien Goddess. So when this one first came out, a lot of the die hard fans of like um, the Alien perfume were not very happy about it. They said that this perfume was weak. This perfume wasn't something that could have been its own fragrance. It didn't have to be a flanker. They said it was a weak fragrance for Mugler to be putting something out like this. Like how dare you put this out this is weak it's not good it's not up to the standards and i was like girl like there's some people out here that will eat up the brand if they don't think something is up to their standards and i'm like girl sometimes sometimes there's little mistakes okay but um i don't think it's a mistake i absolutely love this fragrance when you first spray it it smells very fresh coconut you get like that blast of coconut in the beginning a little bit citrusy but mainly it's the coconut that's like a bomb of coconut and you get the jasmine but to me the jasmine is like a very creamy fresh jasmine is not very heavy like the jasmine that's in the original so I really like that I feel like it mixed really well with the coconut and the bergamot that it has in there it's powdery but very very light nothing that is like you know for me a very heavy powdery fragrance is hypnotic poison by Dior this one is powdery but in a very light creamy way which I really really appreciate in this fragrance it's fresh it's jasmine and a little bit of vanilla and it's absolutely beautiful it's a perfect summer scent summer day nighttime scent it's just absolutely beautiful um, I will agree with the diehard fans of the um, of the alien perfume that this one doesn't smell like it's a flanker from alien um, I do think it could have been its own scent and I still would have loved it but oh well it happened it's here I love it a lot of people love it a lot of people hate it but that's the good thing about perfumes is that there's so many you can just buy another perfume you know to satisfy your needs so that is the original that's what it smells like those are my descriptions for that one now the intense one came out and when i saw the intense i was like "Ooh!" i was so interested in it because i saw on the website or instagram like the official website it said it listed a note of bourbon vanilla and i love anytime something has bourbon vanilla something of a, like a deep vanilla i'm just like i want it i want it i want it because it's gonna smell good like honestly and um, so I was really interested in this one and I love the packaging it's very similar it's just that the juice or the bottle is um, I'm pretty sure it's the juice I, I can't really tell but it's just a dark amber type of like brown um, liquid so when you first spray this you get hit with the wave of the amber this one is a warm amber like the amber that's in the original for sure uh, this one has two jasmine notes so it has the original jasmine and then it has jasmine tea so the jasmine in here is very predominant is very amplified so you do get that jasmine like the original alien um, it's way heavier in the jasmine 
it's stronger than the um, alien goddess for sure because this one gives you very creamy vibes of the jasmine but this one with this double jasmine hit you're gonna get jasmine so the, for the people that were crying saying that um, this one didn't have the amber and the jasmine like the original this one has it you will most definitely get it in this one so this one also smells floral but also it still gives you the alien goddess DNA, but with everything amplified. I feel like this is what people wanted the original release of alien goddess to be like. Like, like if this would have never existed and they would have just said, this is alien goddess, not intense, nothing. I think this is what people wanted because it was actually reminiscence of the original without it being really, really different. It just gives you like that coconut and it's like it's almost like if alien goddess and the og alien had a baby and this is what came out <laughs> and when i tested this out i wore it i sprayed it on my wrist and my hand and then i went to bed and every time also i had the fan on every time that i would walk by the fan the aroma would just like you know um come up to my nose and i was i was like oh my god this smells so delicious it smells so good the vanilla when it dries down the vanilla and the cashmere really like take play like you can smell them really well and it smells so good it's sweet warm and delicious i love it i was debating whether i was like first i got very similar vibes to to the original but then when i let it dry down i was like no this one's good girl like this one's gonna be bomb for the fall this is why i wanted to do my little comparison now before i show you some of my new perfumes that i'm getting for fall because i was like girl i need to show you already because i'm dying to make layering combinations and all that stuff but anyways i'm getting off track yes this one is very very gorgeous um, it's like you get the original alien in here but beachy vibes and it still smells beachy but like a deep type of beachy scent and the vanilla and the cashmere are top tier in this i really like it it smells bombay and i think you'll really do i recommend this to you i think if you really like the original alien you're going to like this it's kind of like you're getting alien with a beachy twist that i like i said i think everybody this is what everybody wanted in the original a release for alien goddess so i think you'd be happy with this one because i can tell you that this one is way more polarizing than this one this one is still my baby this is my first love for the um when, whenever i first smelled this one i got it in a tester because it was when it was coming out or it was uh, brand new and my mom brought a bunch of samples back and i smelled it and i was like oh my god this smells so delicious i actually thought this one was the original alien it was when i was getting into perfumes you know and i didn't know what the original even looked like so when i smelled this one i thought it was the original and i was like oh my god this is what everybody's been raving about and i fell for it like it smells so good it smells like a very fresh beachy coconut vanilla conditioner and i really love it i'm so happy that they made this one and i'm happy that this one came out as well because i think you you can use both of them honestly i feel like they're good transition perfumes like from summer to fall this this is literally like the way to go so anyways that was my little um comparison and my thoughts on both of these do i think you need it i think you wouldn't be like get yourself a one ounce it's it's nice it's deep it's vanilla and you get that jasmine that like jasmine that is known for the alien perfumes and i love it i think it's really good so yes i hope you girls enjoyed this video and if you did give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and watch out for my new vi my next video because i am going to be doing my updated perfume collection for all the perfumes i have added because i think it's been like three months girl that i have updated you guys all perfumes that i've added to my collection and i'm also working on turning my closet into my this is why i named my channel the scent closet because i'm turning my closet into a uh, storage for my perfumes don't don't think i'm have a walk-in closet girl like no i feel like i'm hyping it up too much it's literally just a closet where i'm gonna put shelves and a little table um but yes anyways i'm so excited for that but yeah i'll see you in my next video